Hello, this is a bite-sized presentation on event flood detection as provided with Netcall Omnibus extensions. The flood detection extension is provided as a solution for multi-tier systems where it is useful to prevent excessive volumes of events reaching the aggregation and display layers. Both the probe's rules file and target object servers are modified during the customization. The solution allows the system's behavior to switch between normal operations and flood behavior based on probe event rates. The customization files are located in the $omnihome slash omnibus slash extensions slash event flood directory. The event flood extensions implementation is discussed in both the probe and gateways guide and the Netcall Omnibus administration manual. Part of the solution requires object server external actions to be used and the HTTP or HTTPS method for probe control. It is therefore important to review your system and Netcall Omnibus manuals so that these methods are fully understood. The SQL part of the solution is applied to the target object server where the flood detection needs to be triggered from. The two rules files should be copied to the probe rules files directory for the customization and inclusion into the probe rules files. You can make copies of these files and tune the flood detection behavior for different probes. Part of the solution allows events to be redirected to a backup object server during an event flood. In order to improve the usability of the log files, add a keyword to flood related login. In this example, the keyword flood is used. The flood.config.rules need to be tuned to the environment. Remember to check and test the behavior before deploying the solution in a production environment so that the consequences of the chosen settings are fully understood. The SQL that was applied to the object server creates two transient tables and three triggers to monitor and manage the probes. The triggers also log details to a new log file so that the flood detection behavior can be monitored. 